Alright, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. And I've got a quick little gift guide for you today. It's the holiday season, best time of the year, and I wanted to cover a quick little list for what I would normally want to give to my friends and family that are into tech, but mostly gaming focused for PC gamers, console gamers, and for anyone that wants to spice up their setup or room with some neat stuff. So no reviews for today, numbers or graphs. It's just a chill chat about gifts so you can kick back, relax, and I've got a bunch of cool stuff to show you that is in hundreds of dollars. Because let's be honest, the consoles ship with mostly standard black or white controllers, but there's a ton of really awesome designs out there that you can pick up for either the PS5 or the Xbox. I picked up this pretty sweet mineral camo controller that was actually on sale for around 45 bucks right now, so it's not insanely expensive, and you can't go wrong with spicing up the collection because it's the same controller you use every day, but it looks cooler. Okay, next is PlayStation gamers or even people that play on PC right now. I think the new Witcher update supports the adaptive triggers. Either way, you can't go wrong with either of these choices. All right, the next thing I wanted to talk about was something I actually received as a gift for Christmas around two years ago, and I think it's really awesome. So this is the Wow Stick Plus. It's a fully electric screwdriver that comes with 64 bits. It's battery powered so you can manually torque screws or you can tighten them down with the electric torque. It's not the type of screwdriver that has a ton of torque or super heavy duty, but it comes in handy if you're tinkering with electronics or dark areas of computer cases. It has an aluminum stand and body so it doesn't feel completely cheap. It feels actually pretty nice. The bits are also a great addition to the iFixit kits, which are another solid option that I'll have linked down below. So far, I've been really impressed with either kits and how well they've held up throughout the projects I've used them with. You can also get the iFixit kit for under 50 bucks and you're supporting good people that are fighting for the right to repair. So good stuff here. Now, next on the list is lighting. So whether or not you have a gaming setup that uses a monitor or a TV, it's always good to personalize the setup and get some function out of some lighting. Now I have used a lot of different smart bulbs and I have overpaid for a lot of different smart bulbs. There's like a billion different variations out there. If you go on Amazon and look up RGB lighting, there's like a trillion different options. Now these are from a company under the name of Govi. You can pick up a pack of two for about 17 bucks and these are legit. You don't need to buy any sort of smart hub to connect or use them. The app is really solid and doesn't appear to be spying on you and you can configure them based on color, brightness, and light temperature. Plus you're not stuck with that bluish weird tint you normally get with RGB bulbs. This has a dedicated white LED. So when you turn on the white light, it's actually a white LED. Okay, so another thing to mention is monitor light bars, which are another solid alternative to lighting your desk setup without needing to have anything cluttering your desk. I found this on Amazon for like $40, wanted to check it out. And after getting my hands on it, it turns out that I use this a lot more than I thought I would. It also hides any leveling gaps between having two monitors side by side. So I can't complain. Now imagine this, let's say you have two monitors side by side. Sometimes you can't get them completely level and one sits slightly higher and it drives me absolutely insane. So that light bar sits on top and it hides it. Now, is it something that's gonna serve for everybody? Probably not. It's kind of, if you think you need it. Okay, so another easy pickup for the holidays is any sort of external storage devices from any reputable dealers. I'm using this SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD and you can pick it up for around that $100 mark even though I've seen it dip below that. You throw it in a bag, take it on the go, it gives you a nice amount of fast storage at a reasonable price. Okay, next up, I know this is absolutely gonna be personal preference, but I'm gonna try to point you in the direction of a few gaming mice. I've tried my fair share, and right now I can absolutely recommend the G Pro Wireless or Super Light or the G305 Lightspeed, and there's a couple other runner-ups. These are all awesome gaming mice that are worth checking out if you're in the market for a new gaming mice or you're shopping for someone else that you know could enjoy the upgrade. Gaming mice in general have gotten really good, and since wireless mice are pretty much mainstream at this point, you don't need to worry about any latency negatives. The sensor and weight is awesome on the G Pro Super Light. I love this mouse. The finish is holding up super well. I use this thing every single day. If you don't trust my word on it, just check out the thousands of reviews of people talking about this thing. And if you want a less expensive alternative, you can pick up the G305. My mom has one, it's like 35 bucks. She loves it. It's awesome. All right, so we've spoken about controllers, gaming mice, lights, storage. What about audio? Because believe it or not, you can get some serious audio that doesn't cost a ton of money. So I'm gonna talk about the G2000 speakers. They started their life on my desk months ago, fast forward like four months now, and these little speakers 
are awesome. You wouldn't expect much sound just by looking at them, but basically every single day I'm rocking these for gaming, watching videos, music. The drivers are surprisingly impressive. You can pick them up for around that $110 mark. They also have RGB lights, so you can knock out two things in one combo. This isn't sponsored, I just really like these. Okay, anyways, now straight up, some people are gonna prefer a headset over external speakers. Obviously, you wanna chat with your friends, you wanna hear all those intricate details, and there's some pretty solid options out there. So in the world of gaming headphones, there's a lot of them. There's people that are gonna ask for the absolute entry tier, which I think the Astro A10s for 20 bucks right now. You can't go wrong. I picked these up for $20 at Best Buy. If you want that absolute entry tier headset, it's great. Now, if you splurge to that $50 mark to the Corsair HS65s, you're just getting a better all-around headset. These have great audio fidelity, the mic is way better than other headsets around this price range, and they don't make your head look like an RGB Christmas tree. The comfort on these is top-notch, the headband has this pillowy thick pad, and the ear cups use this memory foam material that doesn't feel like it gets as hot as those fake leather cups. I feel like sometimes you get caught up with everything else in gaming and you glance over audio quality. SteelSeries has a couple other solid options. I tried out the Nova One, which is like their budget headset line, and I think these are better. It just feels like those were kind of cheap. Now, another easy recommendation for anyone that games on PC are the Elgato Wave mics. These are a little bit pricier in the $100 range, but for anyone that uses Discord, streams games, hops into meetings often, it's a robust mic that looks great. It looks like a classic condenser microphone. The software is a little bit more complicated than some other mics I've used, but it's gonna be miles better than any built-in headset mic. And if you're looking for a dedicated mic, you can throw it on an arm, and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about, wrapping things up, is a couple gifts around that 20-ish dollar mark. These are controller stands from Cable Guys. They make all sort of character variations. You can get Master Chief, Sonic, they have classic MW2 Ghost, Spider-Man, The Mandalorian. It's just an easy pickup. They can hold your controller, phone if you want. It adds a little bit of character rather than just storing your controllers in a drawer. Okay, last couple of things I wanna talk about in rapid succession. Number one is extended mouse pads. They make an awesome gift, especially one that has a design that fits into your setup. There's a few on Amazon that have great reviews. I mainly use this one from Random Frank P and the Novel Keys collab, and I have a few from the mouse pad company. I like the extra space you can get from having a big mouse pad, and it makes a great gift that doesn't make you lull at the price. If you're super strapped for cash, you can also check out something to put on your desk. I've got like a, an $8 Gundam that I think fits pretty well with the mouse pad. So that's pretty much it. There you have it, a quick little holiday gift guide that I try to compress into as little time as possible that hopefully helps you pick out something that you want or something for someone cool too. Thanks for watching, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next one.